guys. This is deep combos um, with a lift and a vinyl touch. So I've always wanted to do this. So I irritate her, by the way, on social. She knows. The only time she takes me serious, I think it's once when I posted my wedding picture. I yes. said, hey, oh, she oh, okay, okay, okay. But by the way, guys, this is my first episode. I'm so excited. I used to do these things on live whenever I'm just sitting at home and just do live, talk about music. So the guys have been pressurizing me like to do this thing now. Hey, man, you need to take this thing seriously because whenever we, we are sitting and talk about music, you always want to be the one. Yeah. So that is why we are here. But luckily, I'm with you guys, first episode. But we've missed probably the other guys that have played on Final Touch. They're not going to be happy about it. Oh, they're going to have but to anyways, get over it's ladies it. Man. <laughs> ladies, man. I don't think they would have any problem with that. Why not? You know, Deep House DJs, they don't really, they're not talkers. They're not talkers. They're doers. They're not yeah. exactly. You know? But you are talkers. <laughs> so, uh, we know, no, I'm not a this is a hijack. Who are you? Are yes. we are talkers? Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so I know you. I know you on all the platforms of streamings. I know my biggest fan here, but I'm not going to say who she is. We all know who she is. No, you so don't know. Lefty, lefty. <laughs> so I would like you guys just to formally introduce yourself to the Vinyl Touch fans. We call them the Touchers. The Vinyl Touch, the Touchers. So I would like you guys to introduce yourself. I don't know whether we're going to start introducing this side. Okay, I'm, or this side. Okay, I'm Suen um, from Johannesburg. I've been playing for since 2007. Yes, Queen. But, you know, I took a break about for eight years, but I'm back now. And I'm learning from the, you know, our pioneers. <laughs> so you are in a good space. So I'm definitely in a good space and, you know, under the supervision and, you know, of really good, great leaders. I like what you said, you took a break. Yeah. We're going to go into that. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Tushers. I'm Tops. I've been playing for 22 years. <laughs> to be exact. <laughs> to be exact. <laughs> I've been playing for 22 years and I've never took a break. Uh, I've been consistent and uh, there is no weekend that I have never been booked. So, so I'm bookings, the most constantly. consistent DJ. Yes. yes. And let's not Level use the word the email. Yes. Let's Level. use the DJ. Most bookable. DJ. Yes. We call it levels, guys. <laughs> I told you I have my favorite. <laughs> Over to you. <laughs> oh, you're done. Over to me. Okay. I'm Sake, Lady Sake. I've been playing for a minute. I won't say for how long. No. Seeing that everyone has said how long. So I've been playing for a minute and a half. It's been a nice journey. I'm with my queens here. The main queen. Main, main queen. Queen, queen sheep. Yes. Yes, I'm, yes. Yeah, that's me. I think that's me. I'm Saki. I'm a DJ. I've been DJing for a minute. DJ, event organizer, and come on. And you make things happen I make things for the happen. longest. Please. Yeah. yeah. For the, cons for the consistency. consistency. You make no, things yeah. happen. I'm an event organizer, yes. yes. I think I'm an event organizer first, then yeah, being a DJ. DJ. I, I yeah. will agree on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, why DJ? Why DJ? We, we love, love music. music. Oh. We love music. <laughs> we love music. We love music. Why Tip House? I mean, there's... Okay, when you started I, for, the me, for me, it's not, it's not about deep house, you know, it's just about house, playing house music, good house music, whether it's deep or soul, there's some good techno, some good dub, you know, but it's not necessarily deep house, it's just about playing good music. Do you agree? Um, I love music, I love yeah. Every kind of music. I love reggae, I love deep house, I love jazz. My son listens to I'm a new piano. age. Yes, <laughs> I'm a piano. And mm. I listen to that a lot. Yeah, you told you, me. You listen to it or you're forced to listen to I'm, it? Um, I, I do listen to it. There are a lot of 
nice tracks. They are, yeah. they are. are they? Yes. I don't personally. I don't listen to it, but, but I do listen. Yeah, but mm. um, you don't I pay feel, attention. I feel, I feel like deep I do house. pay attention. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite piano song? Huh? Yeah. If you pay attention, what's your favorite piano song? You know, I would say right now, ne? it would be Gabza's Kusela, because it has like a meaning. But before, when it started, when House Africa took out their first, first compilation, there was something there by MFR Souls, whatever. But I'm not, I don't have time to listen to it. Okay, uh, there's this, I've got, I've got a favorite. I don't know, Ngati Kesh, Kamalayo. Uh, my son introduced me to that song. I, I like it. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's the artist. Like the Ooh, sound. Like the sound. <laughs> <laughs> make you do that. Mm. But um, in, in, in all that, um, yeah. I feel like Deep House chose me. Yes. You know, because it's a, it's a... no matter what I listen to, I keep I keep going back to Deep House. Yes. You know, and yeah. It, it shows me there's just nothing I can do yes. about it. You know what you are saying? It's same as me when, when, when there are events here in PE. Like, it, it, it takes a lot for me to go out and go to an event. Because you must understand, I'm a type of guy that will sit at home, have my whiskey, open my sound bar. So, whatever I'm hearing on my sound bar, you must match outside. So, people will always come, I left you, why always deep house? Why, 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 why did you? But we must understand that. It's not me, Deep House shows me. Exactly. I mean, I used to listen to Kwaito, then I went from Kwaito to Mid Tempo. From Mid Tempo, I went to Deep House. Then there was this whole lot of compilation albums. So I didn't have time for the other genres. My people from PE know now when it comes to Deep House, I don't, I don't, I don't have. Exactly. I block all the noise. So what I'm trying to say is that um, we have been doing this as a final charge for a year now. So we want to when you guys are going to play tonight. They want, I want people also to listen to what we are conversating about. So, want to know about more Sue, Tobes, Lady Sake behind the decks, just playing music. So, that is what we, we wanted to start this episode about. And these guys have been pushing me to do it. So, today, I thought we should actually do it. But let me tell you something. I'm a big, big, big fan. Queen. Big, big, I big, told big, you. big, big fan. I told you about big the queen. Fan. Big fan, big fan. Doing good. See you. I see you. Doing good, imagine. I know. I'm just doing good. good. Just just play. No, Bye. yes. I'm just doing good. Now, now that's, 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 that is what I, that's, that's what I want to talk about. That's what I want to talk about, about saying, as a man, I'm saying to you, you are doing good. How do you take it when I'm, as a man? Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a like, DJ, what, what, what. I'm a just fan of, it, of DJs. So, in the industry, you guys are women, right? So, we had this conversation while we were, they were eating, so about this whole thing of entering the industry as a female. How do guys, when you, especially when you guys began to play, how do these guys take you? Do they take you seriously? Do they understand, like, you are taking a chance, ah, it's just a phase, you just want to be popular, oh, oh, she watched Channel O two days and now she wants to be a DJ. So, well, I would like to go back to the first question as to why I started because I yeah yes I love music but I didn't start because I love music I started because I didn't see any woman in the industry there was yeah so there was a lot of events yeah. but there weren't any women so yeah. Tom's was there yeah. Lady Leah was there yes. I think Shelly was there Shelly was there but I was not you see the, 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 the difference is that people have different experiences. I did not experience Shelly at all, yeah. but I experienced you and I also experienced uh, Lady Leah. But mm. because of the fact that where I was, mm. it was always, and I was in high school when I started playing. Mm. I mean, I was doing parties in high school, like school parties, mm. you know. Mm. But I was wondering, but where the fuck are the women? Do you understand? Mm. Every time when you do something, people will come with sound because you book sound. Yeah. People will come with sound and then they will play. And then yeah. I'm like, Kanti, but, uh, What's going on? Yes. You know, because I am going out. Mm. When I go out, I don't want to be seeing. I mean, I don't know if maybe I am a feminist, but I didn't feel comfortable going out and not being represented, yes. I think. Mm. Yeah. So I think that's the reason, the main reason why I started DJing. Mm. That's why I'm saying that my event organizing comes number one because I can be able to do things mm. and open up. 
Yeah. Um, what she's saying, mm. when, when she couldn't see you, where, 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 where are the women in yeah. the industry? She was looking at it from the outside. Tina mm. Sipaga in the inside. struggle, you know. Begunzi mm. Malapayana. The reason why she couldn't see or feel us mm. is because we were overlooked. Mm. Then. We are understanding. Mm. We were trying to break down the doors, mm. break down the walls, mm. you know. Um, when she came, I can say we have already fought half the battle. Yes. You know, yes. you know? Mm. The, 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 we were then recognized, mm. yes. which made it easy for her to come and say, okay, now that I'm in, I think Minama's slice would be to give other women a platform to yeah. create jobs for other women. Tina, yeah. we, we fought. Yeah. Like, so you even told me that you guys, I, you guys felt like you have to prove yourself like even twice more. Twice, twice as much. Twice you know, as you much. Had, yeah. You had to be good. You know, you would play after a DJ. Ozala, mediocre. <laughs> yeah, you know. But because you are female, yeah. you have to work twice as hard. Yeah. yeah. But she, she, he, he would get more recognition yeah. than mm. one. Yeah, understand. Mm. And and also, Okumulu uh, tina besisa fagwaguma opening set mm. you know you play for three to four five mm. you know when we started uh, getting booked for seven o'clock mm. it was an achievement mm. you know mm. but even then you would get DJ and so and so you would play 30 minutes into your set yeah. there's nothing you can do about it mm. you, you just have to stand there and wait for him to say okay come good mm. so me na again over the moon to be young and even then. And Naman, Naman, she being a keeper, he lent to Zanaki, he stick, he not even a stick, but the, the, the back back record. I'm a vision, he check, Yama, you are my oh, headphones, he yeah. yeah. lash a little. I yeah, understand. <laughs> and before I even start playing, we'll have like 15 minutes of a squabble. Mm. It's, it's my time, dude. You mm. understand. So that's where we're from. So. That's uh, answering Musaiko. She didn't see I'm a female. She didn't feel the presence. I'm a female. Mm -mm. I did say I saw you guys. Saw you guys I saw you and I saw Lady Lee. Mm. But I didn't see an open. So I didn't see more women mm. than were doing that. So in the spaces that I was in, when I used to go out, I would never see women play. Mm. Yeah. I mean, when I started actually doing this thing, it was 2004, 2005. That was actually when things broke even internationally there was a lot of internationals that would come or yes. there was a lot of yes. international music at that yes. time but even then you would still see the same guys i mean yeah. guys yeah. even if yeah. to be honest yeah. Yeah. I'm a headliner that was 2004 yes. those same it, people are still headliners it's, it's, it's still happening it's now today 2022 yeah. remember and i told i told you sorry i told i told i told give up you remember sasa sema khona na man i told um mm. talks is that like i'm from p so in P, it's, it's not every day you see like DJs come. Like we we, we we have our DJs, but when I was in Joburg, I was in House 22, Pretoria. Hey man, these guys are sitting. Deep Forest is sitting there. Go Go Music is sitting there. That other movement is sitting there. So I think it was Ralph Gum's album launch of that Monique Bingham song. So it's you no, know, it's so fascinating for us. And when I come back and tell this story, people don't believe me. Like it's 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 I I don't know whether how you guys take it. You know, we we we, we like you guys uh, are doing very well. So now to like to do that, like we always encourage like other female DJs, like there's ladies that are playing there now. So they are so excited to see you guys because probably most of them started. Most of them started because of you guys. They want to take pictures. They want autographs, whatever. I want my T-shirt for them. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying is that. It's so nice, and I, I told these ladies how we wanted to do the Vinyl Touch Ladies Month. We, we were just sitting, we were hearing a guy that's playing vinyl, and he said, hey man, when can we, a woman actually play vinyl? Because there's a thing of deep house now, people are saying that women are more soulful than guys. That is the truth. And I don't, I don't, I don't dispute that. You guys have that touch, that, 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 that soft touch. When I know when I'm listening to you guys, oh, soulful, soulful. But when I'm listening to a guy, yes, it's soulful, but it's a bit... You guys have that touch. Whenever I, I'm, I'm outside, I miss my wife at home because the female is playing. Like, we have a brilliant DJ, a local guy from here in PA. Like, she plays beautiful music, and she's doing very well. You know? So, 
She's in Joburg now, by the way, FYI. She's, don't need, she's from here. She has but relocated she, now. We have taken her from here. Yes, but she's from here. She's, she's from here. So, yeah, another question I'd like to ask you guys is, do you guys prefer digital or you still vinyl? What's your, what's your favorite pick? On a good day. Be if you honest, guys. Please. On a good day. On a good day. Vinyl or digital? On a good day. Oh, no, vinyl is Like first. everything is up to you. Whatever you want. I would never choose vinyl. I would choose digital. On a good day. I, I choose vinyl. I think vinyl is a feels, lot of work. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't have time then. Okay, maybe uh, let me just say I don't have time for vinyl. Because <laughs> it's a lot of So vinyl. you don't have time for vinyl touch? No, no, no. I have time for vinyl touch, but I don't have time for vinyl. You, you vinyl... played vinyl yesterday, last night? Yes. You're playing vinyl tonight? Yes. You're going to play vinyl on Sunday or t- no. tomorrow? No, this is it. And this it's actually it. my last gig. We are so retiring. Uh, we are retiring from vinyl. <laughs> Look, Mina, I, I can play any, any, any format, mm. you know, but I prefer vinyl. It's, it's the touch. It's, mm. it's... It's the crackling. It's, just it's the crackling. Yeah. It's the smell. Yes. You know. It's the wax that. And and, and yeah. the, the the art. The they've got colorful vinyls. Mm. The art, it's artsy, man. It feels Everywhere. real. And so, real. So, so with now the, that vinyl is, is 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 back again. Like there's more sales of vinyl. Are you are you happy with that now? Probably you're gonna get more bookings when it comes to vinyl. Or... My darling. Look, it's expensive. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's a very expensive It's not going to work. I mean, people are still using 350s. You think that they're going to get... We're actually speaking about 350s Five, uh, 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 Ten tables. You can hire. You can also hire a CDJ 100, a CDJ 1000. But look, what I'm saying to you is that now, vinyl is coming, it's coming back. Like, everyone wants to play vinyl. Everyone, as a DJ now, I feel like if you can't play vinyl, you still got a lot more to learn. So you three ladies can play vinyl. So definitely, I trust you as DJs. Now there's that there's that there's that thing. Now I don't think that's on. fair though. Yeah, but but now what do you think is if not skill fair? wise, technically, vinyl is more complex than digital. Yes, but I don't think it's fair to say that you know you would take us more seriously than a digital DJ. No, not per se females alone. But I'm saying as a, as a DJ, you know what's going on. Technically, the skill, everything, mixing, timing, sequencing. If you can do that on vinyl. Then and then on digital, can kill on digital. Our digital. Uh, guys, it's a disadvantage, you know. We're living in a very, I mean. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Personally, I just got my turntables this year. I've been playing for so long, but I only got my first pair of turntables this year. Okay, so why after so long you didn't have turntables? So now, do you see the growth in vinyl? That's what I'm trying to say. Uh-uh. I wouldn't say that. But why did you go and get the, exactly. the turntables? Because, Mina, as Osaki, I've got a passion for this thing that I there's, a, there's this passion and another thing I like playing like new stuff and whatever it's hard to get new stuff you have to go out and get stuff it's very hard to get new stuff but that's the reason why I got it I got it because you know it's nice you know you can play you know have because fun it's, back. it's not back it's back for us the people that are consistent in the industry yes. but how many people are consistent in the industry how many people, that's why I'm saying I'm making a typical, no. 22 I'm making, years. I'm making a typical example of yeah. normal CDJs. No, I hear you. I hear you. People can't take that thing out. No, no, it, it definitely But you know not. the thing about playing on uh, digital, everyone can do it. Everyone can do it. If you've that's got two point. USBs I don't think everyone and a can do it. And, 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 no, what? they can. We had this conversation yes. about Guys, Ex- like anyone me. can be anything, ne? Mm. but how you break, I don't think I broke because I know how to play vinyl. Nobody mm. even took me seriously when I was playing vinyl. Yeah. People took me seriously because of maybe I knew what I was doing or I could put music together too so that people can be attracted to me. Mm. But I don't think it's because of the format of what I was playing. I think it's because music is, it's like you are having a conversation. It's like making food when you make food. It's a conversation that you're going to have with the next person. And that's how I feel this whole thing is. But I do not think that we are there yet as a but, country. Uh, do you think, Uguti, if we were still playing on vinyl, we would have so many DJs? I don't think DJs. so. I don't think so. I really don't think that we have as much DJs as we have right now. But... So, so I know we wouldn't. The, I don't, that's a thing. It's a I don't no. think so. I don't it's think so. No. But I think that... Number one, it's expensive. Yes. Yeah. It's expensive. Where are you going to practice? Yeah. 
Where is someone going to practice? But to buy music also is also expensive. Where are they going to buy music? Music, digitally. No. But oh, right, oh, oh. right now we're buying a vinyl for 350 mm. to 700 francs. Three tracks. That is a lot of money. <laughs> Thanks to 700 francs. Three tracks. Pay vinyl. Yeah. yeah, I understand. Whereas digital... And then they say Deep House does not have money. Marpega. And you guys are here traveling. You are in Kabeja. We die for the craft. We love the craft. As much as it's not paying, especially the Deep House side of things. Yeah. Um, we don't get as much as we'd like to, mm. you know. But because we're true to the to the movement mm. and we love what we do. Yes. We, we, we pop up our last cent. To keep uh. our, the last that we've got. Just to keep the thing going, you know. I so, love music. We, we, we had this conversation while you were going to do your, your, your other business about from where you guys started from now, 2022, with this whole CDJs, vinyl, entering the game. Now there's a lot of DJs compared to 2000 and what, what, 1996. You know, I remember on my first, like I was 16 when I started going out, to these clubs, and the, you know, Musu Power. I spoke about yes. Musu Power. Yeah, yes. our power is from here. But I you know. guys stole it. I know. So, I, I actually came, came up with Power when I started. <laughs> I met Power when I started playing. Yeah. So, you know, when you saw a DJ, you're like, that's a DJ. So, there were so selected DJs. Now it's like, everyone wants to be a DJ. Mm -mm, guys, there is still a selected DJ. Yeah, no, I'm not saying there are not. Luna is just that you look yeah. for the commercial. <laughs> yeah. DJs. That's what I'm trying to say. Is it easier now to become a DJ? Um, rather than back 25 years ago yes. compared to now. Yes. Like even me, I'm a DJ, but I respect DJs. It's easier. You understand what I'm trying to say? You wake up the next morning and decide oh, I'm going to be a DJ. True. Yes, because you saw this. There's nothing wrong to say, oh, Lady Sake is a DJ, I'm going to be a DJ. But now, if I'm speaking to you about, okay, what do you know about Lady Sake? Do you know Lady Sake, where she comes from? Do you know what she's been through? To understand that you want to be a DJ. Do you understand the industry? Do you understand promoters? Do you understand what you have to do to prove yourself emotionally, physically, and it's... Otherwise. Yeah. I think, so you have to take this one because, you know, you took a break, then, and I've been paparazzing, you know, so... What, what, what was the question exactly? Is it from, easy? from, is it, is it easier now to become a DJ compared to when you started, you started in 2004? 2007. 2007. 2007? Compared to 2022, is it easier to be, to be a DJ now compared during the? It's audience? obviously much easier for anyone to become a DJ now. Now, because, yeah. So what's the difference? Between? The difference is digital is uh, firstly you don't you don't it's easy for someone just to go and download a song music. Mm. Firstly, music vinyl. It's you having to cough out your yes. 350 and buy one record. Mm. You know, so expense is one of the reasons that differentiates between digital and analog. What's the second reason? I know we mentioned it earlier. <laughs> so you're saying it's it's much easier now compared as well as well as the skill. You know, yes. uh, being able to you know um, queue and. You know, pay, being able to queue and um, get the levels, you know, on the queue on the right. Hey, DJing pitch, is not the, easy. Yeah? The pitch of of of, of the, is not easy. on vinyl, it's it's it requires more skill. There's no one one five. One Whereas one five, you, with digital, yeah. it's done for you. You, you just see one forty five on the one side, use your ear. and on the other side, you just have to queue to one forty five. Yeah. It's done for you. Yeah. You know, mm. so in terms of skill, it's, it's, a, it's a big difference. Mm. And also, so, um, back then, um, we weren't so much money driven. Mm. We did yes. it for the love. Yes, we, there loved, was passion. we loved the craft, mm. you yes. know. So even if you were getting paid a thousand bucks back then, yeah, at least you are, you, you are yeah. there. You've played, you played, you know. Zalina. You got paid. You got paid and you played. That's the most important thing. But, but now, can I get 15 grand? Can I get 20 grand yeah. out of it? Yeah. You know, um, you don't take time to yeah. to to build a masetwa. You yeah. don't. You don't. Yes. 
we, we, we used to prep back mm. then. You know? That's actually what I, I just want, one of the prep. things Nama, that I wanted. We used to do a research. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 You know? yes. and, and you build a set according mm. to Inda Uyabuyo. Mm. So a lot of effort went into the, yes. into the craft back then. But now it's all about money. Yeah. Can no, I get you can't, guys, 50 grand? Guys. Can I get 50 grand out of it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it can't be true. You need to speak from your perspective. When a corner man, you get paid, you are playing, you are consistent, mm. you put time and effort into building your sets. Mm. You don't just go and just go and play wherever. I think this conversation should be mainly about what we yes. are doing because in actual fact, the people that are outside, the more commercial people, mm. I spalanda with the guys. <laughs> and those people, that's what Bone, it's all about the money. Yes. That's why, you know, someone always said that, you know, even if you get the most commercial people, you can get 20,000 people Ooh. and put a blindfold on all of those 20,000 people. Those people are still going to dance. Yeah. Because you're playing music that's there. But you, people come to your gig because they want to listen to Utobs. To Utobega. Mm. Yes. Do people just go to places go. to see the prettiness of people yes. or to see what are they wearing? We, we actually had this conversation is that um, when, when, I, when I think of you ladies, including Upopu, Upopu, you know, it's not about what you're wearing, what type of yeah. makeup, what type of sneakers. Like everyone that's coming to this gig tonight, they think that when they think of you guys, they think about music. Hey, I must get my Shazam ready. So that's, that's actually the nice thing about Deep House women. You understand? Even I had a conversation with my wife when um, Uli Seho and his wife were here at the event. They had an event here last year. So Tiff was just wearing a t shirt, sneaker, and a chin. So not many people knew her. But now when she started playing, people started taking notes hey, who's this lady? So she was not playing to get attention via what she's wearing. What, what my wife appreciates about the whole deep house scene is that it's not about what you are drinking, what you are wearing, what you, it's just about the music. If you can't deliver, you can't deliver. Whether you are wearing premium brands from overseas... Or cheese strings. Or, <laughs> yeah. And what she also appreciates is that you guys, she relates to you guys more because you guys are about more soulful. You understand? You take her to a journey. Unlikely, unfortunately, she won't be here tonight, but that's, that's, that's the whole thing I, I, I try to understand about women also. That's why I figured out, no, you know what, women are more soulful than, than, than us male, male DJs. You guys take us through a journey, actually like, yo, I need a I need a in other words, <laughs> you guys are doing very well. Okay. Thank so you. in terms of yep. even your dress code, it's not about hey, I'm gonna see Uban Ban dressed in a mini skirt. But Musnina Deep House, uh, the, our colleagues, y'all are saying that we are boring when we are like this. <laughs> no flicky your colleagues. eyebrows. We are not interesting. <laughs> there is no. Look, I'm. Um, yeah. Honestly, it's, honestly, it's, it's, not, it's not to me about how you look. Yeah. Okay, me not dress for comfort, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, if if I have to dress the part, if I'm going to a place where I know what's, ooh, by a flicker, I wear my heels, I wear yeah. my mm. dress, you mm. know. Yeah. But what I play behind the decks doesn't change. Doesn't mm. change. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. define me. Mina, it's what I deliver when I'm mm. there. Mm. But um, honestly speaking, I would, I would love to dress for comfort because... Mm. I know when I make people dance, I would also like to, yes, yes, to yes. dance along with them and enjoy. So going back to what you said, so you had to, to take a break from DJing, why did you do that? Family reasons. Uh, I became a first time mom. Uh, my um, corporate career just started kicking off. So it was more, you know, I chose, um, I would say comfort, mm. you know, over um, the stress of this fucking industry. Yeah. Just say it as it is. In the whole industry. This, okay, yeah. the stress of this fucking industry. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Bad influence, actually. Damn. Yeah. But it's a, honestly, it's a tough industry. It is a very tough it's, industry. It's, it's tough. Very tough. You People might don't see realize. the glitz and the glam of you teaching with crystals, Tom, Sales, G, what? The nice stuff. Mm. There's but a lot going there's on. There's a lot behind. going on. Mm. Yes. Balancing the home. 
Yeah. yeah. The music. And you yeah. take the music stuff, stress home, and so you take the stress of the corporate into the house. Hey. <laughs> but, but with her, we wanna because at home also. It's, I it's, do a lot of music. Mm. No, but what I'm saying is, oh. at home they understand. There's, there's the understanding. Yeah. Yeah. To the music yes. side of things, you yeah. understand. Yes. Imagine if your partner was not into this, the, this, yeah. this house. It would be difficult. I almost died. I understand. Yeah. Mm. So, so when, you, you, when you go out, mm. you go out every other weekend yes. to us, you know, it's, it's yeah. a job. Yeah. And honestly speaking, it's hard to find a relationship when you are a DJ. Mm. Yes. Because, you know, um, I'm a daughter, they always feel like you've got a, 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 a buffet yeah. of men at mm. yes, mm. you travel. Mm. You travel all the time. Yeah. And it's not, it's it's not even there. Mm. Mm. You understand? Mm. You, you just want to play your music. I mean, I'm in love with my music. Mm. I just want to play music before it's it. Too. I just mm. want to play music. Mm. I don't even see who's there. I don't, mm. I don't even care who's there. Mm. I just want to play the music. I want to see people happy, whether I'm happy to make yes. people dance, and especially when people are standing right here in front mm. of me. Like it's, no, but you're gonna get that. It's pure joy. You're gonna get mm. that. Yeah, I understand. And and Ukai, when maybe when I bring my girlfriend, my boyfriend, mm. he's already girlfriend. I'm, <laughs> I'm not fine. Mm. <laughs> but it's fine. You're not gonna judge. Mm. So maybe when I bring my partner and then I'm born a gume, I'm born and I'm book a book guy. Maybe he feels it's the same threatened. Yeah. Uti, he yeah, could, yeah. she could have any other guy. Yes. It's not like yes. that. It's hard. Because and, and another thing with DJ, you are a social person. Mm. You know. You understand? You are here, DJ engages the guy, he relates to the song, he comes to you and hugs you, buys you a bottle of tequila or whatever. So he's saying thank you. Same as like me and the guys I work with. We have to interact with women. But now it's up to me how I, 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 I interact with the woman because I have to have respect for my wife because I'm married, I'm committed to that. But also she has but to she understand that I'm in this yeah. business yeah. To, to do what I have to do. So, and that requires me yes. So it's tough. Actually, a friend of mine, a pro, just, yeah, yeah. So he had also to quit because of his own issues with home and um, raising a child, gonna get married, career starting to, to, to grow. So he had to choose until he got stable again. Now he's back into DJing. So it's it's kind of. Uh, so y'all have been DJs. waiting for us to just take the train. That's what. It, him, uh, Pro and her, they were waiting for us to push the train until they get back. <laughs> That's what's going on. Push the uh, train, no. guys. He's, he was watching the industry. He was watching the industry. But it's, it's actually for me, like, I, I'm actually new into the industry, but I've been looking at the industry for a long time. So to, to, to have friends like these guys I'm working with, I'm the youngest one, so they call me 2000. So we'll sit here and we talk about music. <laughs> ah, left, what do you know about Blue Six? Ah, I've heard music and wine, I know that song. I've, so I'm the youngest one, so it's actually nice to sit with the old guys that have been listening to the music, early 90s. So now, when I meet my age group, you know, I'm like, ah, chance, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, so there's, there's, there's levels. So it's the, the, the grooming I've been getting for the past year has been amazing, and the experience I've been having with the Vinyl Touch, it's, Superb. So this is what we are trying to do also here, like to to to, to show what um, young people can also do. Like you guys have probably have your own thing going on DSS. As a female, you can have your own movement, and that I feel like you get more respect when you start your own thing. Now, when you start your own thing, people will say, "Hey, we must take this one serious because they." But is that no? I could say something. It's the same as being a DJ, a female DJ going, coming into the industry and doing events coming into the industry. Yes. Because people just don't want to see you there. Yes. And that's the truth of the matter. But now, if you are not knocking on doors, you are creating, you're creating your own door. Now, that's a different thing. Yes. That's where you're going to start yes. getting noticed like, hey, but like how many guys have played in TSS? My guy has played those kumbis, by the way, he's played there. Oh, yes, I know. I know. Yeah, you see? Hey, so, they, they don't even remind me of that video. <laughs> yeah, actually, so it comes actually with, the, the, it comes the, with angle, respect. the angle that you're coming with. Where yeah, that. you're opening a door. Exactly. Yes. Now, how is a male, like with Jons, I know Jons, Jons plays on TSS. So Jons has respect for, for you, what you are doing. Yeah. You understand? Now, it, 
Pick up Spama. Yes. That's my nigga. That's my boy. That's my nigga. Wearing all type of t-shirts of DSS. <laughs> Black, red, white, but I don't even have one. But so that's what I'm, I, I'm trying to say. Even when, 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 when a guy comes to me and says, hey, man, lefty, I'd like to DJ, do vinyl touch, and I'd like to show myself. Man, to have vinyls. Hey, no, man, I play CDJs. No, we're not really focused on CDJs. So how about you start your own thingy? And you know what your else own... I love about this, this vinyl movement? Mm. We, we're teaching people that music doesn't get old. Yes, mm. it's timeless. Yes. Like the, the, the digital guys, it's all about sourcing music every week. Yes. Mm. You know? What do I do with all the music that I bought on vinyl 10 years back? Mm. Do I throw it away and say, Sebu Som Dala, it doesn't sound nice, mm. you know? I must, I must make it work every mm. now. I must yeah. make it work. And that's mm. what actually we, we, we are trying to do. We are trying to, to, to do it different, different from other movements. You understand? Like, we brought you ladies for ladies, man. We expect vinyl. Can I just say something? Did I do anything wrong? This thing of women's math, it must stop and it must fall. No, <laughs> but... For, no, no, no. So I we don't say, want women's math. No, no, no. Personally for me, I think mm. that it is played out and it needs to stop. So you If you want to book us, mm. you must book us... just be on women's math. Beyond man. women's math. Not yeah. even beyond. You must book us with anyone. Like, yeah. when we yeah. are coming, it must be with anyone. Yeah. It shouldn't be, it hey, we are doing female. females yes. thing. Who should we be? are not on the same level. So that we have a good measure exactly. of what, what is happening. Which was a Yes. This what thing, is we are still, I mean, as women in this industry, we are still far Because when, when you play us against each other, and but that's and you're you you pitting us against it. They Spuna do that a lot. Mm. Spuna, mm. Are you okay? And that's mm. what they need to do. They need to do. <laughs> need to do. I, mean, I, I always I mean, I mean, tell people, yeah. don't put me on the female uh, lineup. Like, that's what I do as well. Don't do that. There's mm. no growth in that. There's no growth for mm. the woman. There's no growth mm. for the industry. And but we love this. What is happening today? Yes, this is a, is a good mm. bonding we session. Love this. We love so you guys you. did you a favor? Yes. No, that's, <laughs> very that's nice. Great. But yeah, really mm. a three. It should be balanced. Yeah. Mm. But remember, Tina, we had a schedule. No? Your schedule put us in August on Women's Day. Yes. The, the that's the only schedule that was open. So what could we do with August? You understand? Mm -mm. Yeah, it would have been what, what nice to have Tuga? some male DJs. This is what you can run. Yeah. Buxly, buxly. Ah, yeah. We can change. We can change whatever's going on there. <laughs> ah, I'll give you pro. I'll give you pro. Ask Claude. But it's not about that. All I'm saying is that no, there's I a lot of fully, fully, There's a lot of when fully, people want fully. to do things. Yeah. I mean, even during the year. Yeah. No, I'm not going to book you, but you know what? We are doing this woman's thing, and then I'm going to call you there. In. But Saki, oh, what? Don't call me. You played other places, irrespective of it's not women's. But I, I understand. Opened, I understand. No, no, no. Mm. I have been able to open up doors to be able to play. Yes. I have been, but still, I still have a problem with the yeah. fact that. So this is the like problem you guys are facing. But in it the doesn't industry. take away the fact that it's women's month. Yeah. If it's Father's Day. We say happy Father's Day. Yeah. Are they gigs? Are they Father's Day gigs? No. Uh, no. Yeah, but I'm making a point song. I'm making a point song. Yeah, it's normal. There is a day dedicated, a yes. dedicated to Abu Baba. Yeah. So this is a month dedicated to us. Yes. 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 Yeah, I understand Let's the show a month off. dedicated to us. And it's not us. one woman. Let's show off. No, guys. It's not one woman we're bringing here. It's all of you guys. Ah. Let's show off. This is our chance. Because, you know, a uh, woman's month is not, a, it's not like Mother's Day or Valentine's Day where mm. we expect gifts. This is a chance to show off mm. what is mm -hmm. sinan, Mina, for me, it's a... We do I, that I, I all fail. year through. I'm, we I'm, do I'm, that all I, year through, but... I'm not even. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> it's tough. It is very tough. Wanna, it, this industry, it's tough to the point where even you say, you're saying, I'm getting gigs and whatever, whatever. Yeah. Yes, I'm getting gigs, whatever, whatever. But those gigs, they have conditions. They have, you have to uh, go down for with your price. They have this, they have that. Yes, so it's not about, yeah. you're going to call Osake, and Osake is going to, yeah. but a lot of people pay the full price of a singer. Not Shout out to everyone that is booking me. <laughs> got you guys. I got but. you. And thank you for believing in me. Thank you for believing in me. <laughs> but why is that happening? It's because you, 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 <laughs> but what, Sake, Sake, it goes back to what I'm saying. When you do your own thing, you get more respect. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You getting bookings because there's DSS. I don't think I'm getting bookings no. because, no, because of DSS. No, I'm not saying because of DSS. You have certain respect because 
you know what you are doing. You 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 you've opened up a stream. We've talked about this like before COVID. There was literally nothing about streaming. Then there was COVID. All of a sudden, there's all this streaming. Like they are known now because you are at home. You have nothing to do. Okay, switch on internet. Ah, oh, DSS, Takila Gang, Beats, Beats TV. Best beats. I did not say says kuma utege. Tila kuma utene function. No, I'm not saying that, but. It picked up streaming during COVID. Yes, it did. It picked up during. Now I've been listening to streaming for because a good. Because people couldn't go out. Exactly for a good six years now. I've been I've been listening to streaming for six years. But what I'm trying to say, it, I noticed it picked up during COVID. So that's where you now like, people started noticing um, DJs from Joburg that are not known nationally. Now I'm surprised when so, people are so you weren't speaking directly like sake, you're just speaking general. General. Saying that DJs, yes. more DJs got exposure, exposure. To, because of streaming. Expo- like, and I can yes. testify to that. Yes. That's hundred yes. percent um, accurate because I never done a, a mixtape mm. ever. So because of the exposure and the opportunities that I've got to play on DDS, to kill yes. again, blah, blah, blah. I even showed you on Twitter, like, people are saying, you know, they know I, me. People now know Sue Ann, yes. you know. There were people that know, knew mm. Sue Ann long before. Yes. And those are the people, when they saw Sue Ann being um, on, the, on a more broader scale, mm. they, those were... Those guys were like cheering and mm. saying, "Yeah, okay, we knew already what mm. she's capable of mm. doing." So, those platforms did allow us yes. or me yeah. personally mm. to be more, mm. you know, mm. exposed to everyone else, you know. So, but so is I, that working? I, does it work? What what does what work? Like as from a, from a perspective yeah. of being a DJ, yeah. does it work when you are? Streaming and people, do you get bookings, get bookings yeah. or has has it changed the way the bookings are coming and things like that? Mm. Well, on my personal experience, obviously I got more bookings mm. from that, mm. you know, because I got more exposure. People saw who is Su An and mm. what Su An is capable of doing. Mm. So they, from for me personally, there was a lot of contribution towards me progressing in this mm. industry. That's good. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe Nami. It has contributed in a way, mm. but like I said, I mean, uh, I've been consistent. You, mm. You've been like around for 22 years. If, if, if in a month I don't get six to eight gigs, you've then not, I, I there's well. something not right. Mm. We understand. Mm. I don't know, maybe must, my, my streamings, they've contributed to that, mm. but mm. that's always been... So, just um, the last question I just want to ask you guys. What can um, the touchers expect? From you guys, I'm I was the one that thrown oh up the lineup. Music. I was the one. I am responsible for the lineup. Are you happy with your slot? Are you happy with your slot? Are you happy with your slot? I am the one. I think it's a good lineup. Leave me the water. Leave me the water. That's good. But Leave me um, I will tell you when to play and when to stop. <laughs> it would have been nice to play a nice soulful set, you know. I haven't played soulful in a very, very long time. Oh, darling, don't worry. You leave that to me, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. Leave it to me. You're going to play like, like, me. <laughs> like when I first came into the industry, I was known for soul music. Mm. And I've, I've been booked for that between 7 and, and 10. Mm. But now of late, it's... 12, 11, mm. 12, 1, 2. So I, I can't really play. It's like, it's like, it's like, like, guys, can I please play? <laughs> please, guys. Mm. So we can expect, what can we expect from you guys? Are so you wearing from? your dancing shoes? <laughs> ah, it's very comfortable, this one. Okay. So we're expecting soulful? Yeah. Dance? Yeah. Dance, music. Any classics? Any classics? Oh, yeah. Sing alongs? Experience. You have to blend the old with the new. Oh, God. I'm not a tequila drinker anymore. Oh, shame. I actually want a Yaga Meister right now. Please. A Jaga Meister. Let's go to the venue, guys. You have a drink. You have a drink. I don't have a drink. Um, But um, this is is the first um, episode. Yeah. We're still going to have fun. Let's go have fun. Go fun. Your flights are in the Muslim. What time are you the flights, babe? In eight. the morning, eight. eight. Ah, look, let him know. I'll be crawling into my flight. <laughs> so, we're gonna have, so we're going to have fun. You're going to start playing. 
Yes. But at least it's an early night. Yeah. yeah. Ah, don't, don't be so sure. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You don't know us. <laughs> don't know us. Okay, so, who's our famous uh, one-on-one? DJ Pro. Pro! Hey! We're here for you, Pro. We're here for you. Yeah, very, very good. So, yeah, guys, um, it's been nice talking to you guys. Obviously, we've had our own chats about life when you are busy with your other stuff. Hey, so don't it's, stop it's, saying how, how many times are you ready to say that? This is the second time. I'm going to say this. it again and again and again. So, uh, it's really an honor to like conversate with you guys. It's not every day, like, I would speak to someone like me, like the other guy in the location can actually speak to the woman that one of the fine I can say confidently, mm. one of the finest. And a privilege. Finest. I know it's not a privilege. I've worked hard for it. <laughs> Don't be like a typical guy. I've worked hard to be here. So it's actually an honor. I'm sure I'm representing um, many guys, uh, many females to, to talk to you guys. You will meet also other guys at the venues, females. They've been watching Tequila Gang, DSS, Best. So they've, they can't wait. So, but I, what I will tell you is that we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. Thank you, you for what? having us. I'll do a low five because I haven't eaten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you.